Hey everyone! In this video series, I'll show you how to make what I call a pencil and paper video. This is a relatively simple type of video to make, and if you're used to teaching with a document camera or even on a chalkboard or a whiteboard during your in-person class, this type of video will probably seem pretty familiar to you, and I think you'll pick it up pretty quick. It also doesn't require much in the way of equipment or expertise, so it's a great place to start if you've never made a video before. Now, in this first video, I'll show you the equipment that you'll need and how to set it up to make this type of video, and in the second video in this series, I'll show you how to actually record your pencil and paper video and do some basic editing using the software that's already in your smartphone. So let's get started. Now, all you'll need to make this type of video is a smartphone, just like this one here. You'll need a smartphone holder, of course a piece of paper, pencil, some water, and optionally an external microphone, which is what I'm using to record this video. Now let's start with the smartphone holder. This is gonna help you situate your smartphone over the piece of paper, because in this type of video, all you're really doing is using your smartphone as a document camera. Although your smartphone is also going to be able to record the sound of your voice, which is nice. And all you have to do is situate your smartphone over the piece of paper, because you're just gonna record yourself writing on it and speaking at the same time. Now, I found that the easiest way to get the smartphone in the right position is using something like this. This is just a smartphone holder that you can get for about $20 on Amazon. And I do recommend not attaching your smartphone holder to the same surface that you're writing on. If you do, when you write on this piece of paper, the desk that you're writing on may tend to shake a little bit, and that will in turn shake the holder and shake your smartphone, which is your camera. And that will cause the frame of the video to move around a little bit, and that can be pretty distracting. So as you can see here, I have the smartphone holder attached to something else, just a shelving unit over here that is different from the desk that I'm writing on. Now next, of course, we have the smartphone itself. And most smartphones nowadays have really good cameras in them and pretty good microphones too, so they can pick up pretty good audio. Um, but I do recommend using this side of your smartphone to record your video because on some models of smartphones, the camera on this side is a bit better than the camera on the screen side. So you're gonna wanna set it up like this and put your smartphone facing downward like this, okay? And of course you can use the viewfinder to make sure that your piece of paper is centered within the frame of the camera. Now, speaking of paper, you'll notice that I have my piece of paper here and you'll notice that I have it taped down and I've just used some uh, you know, blue painter's tape to tape it down and that's to make sure that the paper doesn't move and therefore might move outside of the frame of my camera. So the tape just makes sure that the paper stays in the same place in the frame of the camera. Now, next of course we have the pencil, and nothing special about this, just a graphite mechanical pencil, but optionally, if you want to, you can use colored pencils. And the colors I recommend if you are gonna use color are blue, orange, and I don't have an example here, but also pinkish purple. Now, why these colors? Well, this combination of colors is more colorblind friendly. So if you want your video to be accessible as possible to as many people as possible, I recommend using that combination of colors. Now you should also have some water so you can drink to keep your voice sounding good. And optionally, you can also use an external microphone to record the sound of your voice. Now, most smartphones are just fine. So this is really optional if you you know, after a while or, or after you make a bunch of these types of videos, you want to improve your audio, you can use some kind of external microphone to hook in right into your smartphone while you're recording. And there are a couple of options for this. One is that you could just use a lapel microphone that goes on your shirt. But I don't recommend this because at least when I write, I tend to kind of move around a lot and the microphone picks up that sound and it can be a bit distracting. So if you're gonna use an external microphone, I recommend one that once again is not sitting on the desk, but also is not attached to you. So I have here on a microphone stand, a Blue Yeti condenser microphone that I'm using right now to record the sound of my voice. And uh, so that's what I recommend if 
you want an external microphone. Now, all the equipment that I talk about in this video, you can find in a document through a link in the description below. So do check that out. Now, before you hit record, I recommend that you write out first on another piece of paper, everything that you're gonna write out in the actual video. And that will just get you more comfortable at writing those things. Although if you've taught this material quite a bit before, maybe you don't even need to do this. But writing out your material in advance also helps you kind of organize it on the page. And when I do that, I always find that it helps make my page a bit less cluttered. And your students will appreciate that because it will make, the, um, it, will make it a bit easier for them to take notes. So I recommend writing everything out beforehand. It'll make things just go a bit more smoothly. Now, you may have heard that um, you know, there's some background noise here. I live in a city and cars go by all the time. So when you're choosing a location to record your video in, try to make sure that it's relatively quiet. And if you can, try to have it as far away as possible from the road because that's usually where most noise is coming from. Now, why didn't I do that for this video? Well, this is actually a video where you're seeing my face and I wanted it to be well lit. So I, choose, um, I chose this room, which is my home office, because it has this nice big window here and natural light is, is good for lighting. Um, but uh, you know, if there's a little bit of background noise in your video, don't worry too much about it because it's probably not going to interfere that much with your students learning from your video. So don't worry too much about that. You also might wanna make sure that there's enough light on your paper. And usually overhead lights are just fine for this if you have one in your room, but if you don't feel like there's enough light hitting your piece of paper, you can always just put you know, a couple of lamps nearby just shining down on your piece of paper. Usually that's not even necessary because phones nowadays are pretty good at recording in low light. Um, I think that's it. I actually also have my computer up when I do this because I tend to scan the notes that I write in class into my computer. So that's what I use as a guide for when I record these videos. But it's up to you. You can just have another piece of paper off to the side out of the view of the camera to guide what you're going to write when you actually record the video. So I think that's it for now. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually record one of these type of videos and how to do some basic editing. See you all then.